Some lovely sunshine now, greeting world champion Michaud. No wonder he's world champion when he climbs steps like that. Jumps down the first one. We'll jump down the second into that tight turn. He'll enjoy the sunshine. I wonder if I have time to touch the peak of his helmet before he starts climbing back out. Like so many before him, takes his time at the bottom. Must get it a fantic absolutely correctly positioned before he attempts to climb over those rocks on his way out. Perfect balance. Over the first bunch of rocks. Touches the peak of his helmet. Up out over the step. Along the top then back down. The world champion in action. That's a giant step out. In problems, yes. Loses a mark with a dab. Probably would have liked to have gotten through that one without any feet going down at all. And now it's a matter of regaining your composure and your concentration, making sure you don't dab again before you're, you're on your way out. This is where Lejeune took so long to line up his Honda. Will show take so long on the Fantic? I don't think so. No. And he's safely out and through. Tremendous ride there by Terry Michaud. Taking a long time on that first step. It's this next bit that's so tricky. Safely through just with a dab. This is Bosses. Italian, riding the Aprilia, finished sixth in last year's World Championship. Last year he was on a Montessa. A much quicker approach than the men before him. And certainly seems to have paid off. He's safely through that part. And the next step. Back down. Then the part that caught out Terry Michaud. And he's lost a the mark there also. Back down into the darkness. Perfect balance. Jumps the whole bike round, doesn't just jump the front wheel round. Gets the whole bike up and rides his way out like a Sunday afternoon.